across the evening sky and feel the cool wind blowing through the valley and the pine such a positive and upbeat environment you feel so welcome and happy to be here and everyone's really happy to see you all the time I wish that I could fly on so much more self-confident than I ever used to be I've got a much greater sense of who I am and who I want to be this earth, this earth, she is my it's a real lifeline to a lot of talented kids that they wouldn't find elsewhere. This wood is my home. You can totally let yourself go. You come back feeling so uplifted, so so much feeling so much more able to actually produce something of value. But this is all. This place just breeds magic. This is a place, and over and over again, the kids said it to me. This is where we feel safe. I can say anything here, and nobody gets mad at me. And nobody makes fun of me here. I think to create safe places for the expression of opinion of young people is probably the most important thing anybody can do. Well, this is really the first place that I came where there's everybody around me just creates art or rights. So we insist on a lot of different kinds of applause because we want kids to feel buoyed up. This is your place. This is where you are supported and what you say and do and write and create matters to us. It matters to us. And this iron has a poem on it. Sometimes, as in Lauren Spector's case, it's the incorporation of words with found objects so that the actual words go on the objects. We have screenwriting and playwriting and journalism and journaling and pho photojournalism this year. Uh, we have songwriting and uh, hip hop and words. So it's it's just quite a quite a wide amalgam of different kinds of ways to use words creatively, and perhaps all together that's what creates the rounded individual who comes out of this camp. I was really really painfully shy. But um, I was in a room with a girl who is now one of my best friends, and we, we made ourselves into the sisterhood, and so that was a really great experience because, I mean, those people are going to be my friends for the rest of my life. It was really some of the first and positive encouragement I'd gotten, and I, I've always remembered that. I think that youth right helps people develop not just as writers, but definitely as people in their own rights. The instructors are a fabulous amalgam of talent from all over this province and indeed the country. And then I meet them and I ask myself, would this person be a fit at, camp, at, at Youth Right? And I guess the person who has a sense of humility about him or her, a sense that this is a sacred practice and if we invite enough people to the fold, it'll grow and grow. I look forward to this every year, obviously. I've been back here, you know, ten times, and it means so much to me that I've actually tattooed it onto my back. So if that isn't, you know, dedication, I don't know what is. Look, we have a three-hour car ride home, and it's just non-stop, just ideas flowing. And she's writing them down. Oh, I got another one. Writing them down. Unbelievable. It's just an experience that these, every child should have. Yeah, it's so hard to leave. You don't want to leave this place. It's beautiful. When I come here and hear these kids and their rants and their creativity and their passion for being engaged in the world and in life, I feel some hope for the future. And this isn't the only camp that does it, but it is one of the ones that does it best. And I think it's important and I would like to see it go on for a long time to come. Sometimes I like to move like lightning across the evening sky and feel the cool wind blowing through the valley and the pine.